This is our number 57 gravel. Uh, it is the absolute most common type of construction gravel that uh, is used here in Central Ohio as well as uh, the most popular gravel that we sell. Um, it's 57 is, is what it's called. It's about, th this is your classic size of 57s, but they do range as you will see. They do range in size a little bit. You get some smaller ones, bigger ones. Uh, a 57 is about three quarters of an inch is how it's gauged uh, in size. This particular uh, uh, material is used underneath concrete uh, sidewalks. It's used around uh, uh, posts for fences and for decks. Uh, it's used for drainage um, in various different applications. It's used as often your second or your top layer, possibly your third, depending on your application uh, for driveways. This is that top layer uh, that people put on and then they might put asphalt on it, they might drive on this particular gravel, or they might put concrete. This is a very popular gravel. Um, this particular product is also used for construction, uh, for patio construction. We uh, suggest a minimum of four inches of gravel for any patio, whether it's natural stone or whether or not it is uh, uh, concrete pavers. How you apply this is you put two inches down, rake it out level and even, and then run a compactor over it. Um, you can also then add another two inches, run a compactor over it. So that will give you four inches of uh, 57s, which is an adequate base for concrete paver patios, which is what we suggest. Um, if you do driveway applications, um, we suggest eight inches of gravel. Again, this is your base material gravel. We also have another material that you go on the top. It's a leveling material. Oftentimes people say sand, we don't suggest sand. Um, we actually suggest a material called number nines, which we'll go over later. Um, but number 57s, um, it's, it's local here in Ohio. Very popular construction gravel. Um, this particular material is sold by weight, not by volume. Um, we sell it by the ton or by the pound, however you want to look at it. Uh, we will sell 500 pounds, we'll sell 1,000 pounds. Um, really will sell you what you need on this particular product. Volume, that's where you have to calculate how much you need. So this particular product is approximately 22 to 23 cubic feet uh, per ton. Again, we said a yard is 27. So 22 to 23 cubic feet per ton, which is a smaller pile than our mulches and soil, which is sold by the yard. So when you hear a ton of gravel, you think it's gonna be a lot. And the reality is it's really not that much volume. It's a lot of weight, but not necessarily volume. This particular one is about 22 and a half cubic feet per ton. Uh, a ballpark estimate is 100, uh, 110 to 120 square feet at two inches deep is what this one uh, uh, covers. When we estimate uh, patios on our installation, it's a real simple 50 square feet per ton. We say 50 square feet because we have to go four inches deep and there's a, we, we don't want any variables that would be short on the product or they're slightly over dig. So if we have a 400 square foot patio, we know we need eight tons. It's real simple. When you're doing four inches of patio, assume 80 square feet. Uh, I'm so sorry. Four inches of patio, assume 50 square feet per ton as a ballpark estimate. All other applications, it's, it's okay to use that 110, 120, uh, but as a general rule, use 50 per square feet. This particular product is also, number 57, is also used for backfill on walls. It's also used for drainage, uh, French drains. This particular product, hand down, is the most popular one. We can deliver this product to you. Uh, we can sell you in any amount, delivery. Um, delivery is separate, charge from the actual product itself. So we can deliver one ton to you, we can deliver 20 tons to you, it doesn't matter. Um, you can get your number 57s, you can, Bring, come here to the store and pick it up. Uh, we can deliver it to you and we can also install this product as well.